U.S. finally build launchers new super long-range rockets terrible killer on land and at sea. Lockheed Martin to build launchers for future long-range rockets to attack targets on land and at sea. HIMARS launchers will fire the future long-range precision strike missile, PRSM, a surface-to-surface, all-weather, precision strike guided missile. Tactical missile designers at Lockheed Martin Corp. will build launchers for next-generation surface-to-surface rockets designed to destroy enemy targets as far away as 300 miles. Under terms of a $160.5 million order announced last week. Officials of the Army Contracting Command at Redstone Arsenal, ALA, are asking the Lockheed Martin Missiles and Fire Control Segment in Grand Prairie, Texas, for production of M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket Systems, HIMARS. HIMARS launchers will fire the Army's future long-range precision strike missile, PRSM, a surface-to-surface, all-weather, precision strike guided missile fired from the M270A1 multiple launch rocket system, MLRS, and the M142 HIMARS. PRSM should enter service in 2023. PRSM is to replace non-insensitive and cluster munition versions of the Army MGM-140 Army Tactical Missile System ATACMS. It will provide Army and U.S. Marine Corps field artillery units with long-range and deep strike capability. The PRSM will destroy, neutralize, or suppress targets at ranges from 43 to 250 miles using indirect precision fires. The baseline missiles will be able to engage a wide variety of targets at ranges as long as 310 miles. It will emphasize imprecisely located area and point targets. Primary emphasis for follow-on upgrades will be on increased range, lethality, and ability to attack time-sensitive, moving, hardened, and fleeting targets. By 2025 the Army will be able to use the long-range PRSM to attack and destroy moving enemy ships operating offshore at ranges out to about 310 miles. While the weapon primarily has surface-to-surface -surface applications for use against enemy air defenses, troop fortifications, and armored vehicle columns, the PRSM is being configured with an advanced targeting multi-mode seeker to include maritime strike.
the new targeting seeker has completed a captive carry test wherein it flew aboard an aircraft against representative targets in preparation for further testing and ultimate deployment.